So there's not really many videos explaining actually how to make a good build for Payday 2. There's a lot of like what build you should be using, sort of just pre-made builds, but none of them sort of teaching you each of the different components why you're using them, you know? So I'm just going to go over how to actually make good death sentence one down top top tier builds, okay? So the system I go by is I have sort of different packages. I have, say, the Inspire package, you know, the Convert package, Shotgun package, uh, sort of basic tank package, don't need anything there. Uh, like, I have all these different packages, right? And then you can just try and fit as many packages as you can into a build. And then hopefully it's good. So I'm going to go over different packages that I would use. So first you got Inspire here. Every single build, no matter what, on Death Sentence should have Inspire. Even Death Wish. Or even Mayhem. Okay? Inspire is so busted OP. Needed. Okay? Also, med kits, y you want them. Especially for one down. Okay? If you're doing regular Death Sentence, I'll, I'll allow uppers, but for one down you're mostly going to want dock bags. So if you haven't actually infamied and got the mastermind infamy boost thing, then you're going to have to spend an extra point. So normally it's 28 points for this one, but you're going to have to spend, what is it, 31 if you want to do it without infamy. So next we have got the basic sort of convert package these are just max converts which is what i use all the time they're, they're good good converts uh if you want you can spend what's that 34 for getting hostage taker it's a bit expensive but some people like it i personally don't it's 22 for all these it's very expensive but converts are very good but they're not a must must have they're just very good because they tank a lot and distract a lot of stuff right if you want just basic, basic, decent converts, uh, this isn't bad. This is, what's that? That's 9 plus 3 is 12. Not awful, but I personally much prefer the 22, spend it, get really good converts. Next we've got Graze. Uh, a very interesting skill. This is if you want to run snipers or any sort of single shot things. Oh, it's... If you're running graze, you have to have a sniper. So I would personally do this when I'm getting graze. Uh, this is 28 points. If you haven't got it for me, I would get a basic rifleman, uh, which is 30 points. Um, this only works on snipers, not regular single shots. If you're just running regular single shots, I would do something kind of like this. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's, it's a bit wonky if you're doing that. But, yep, graze is about 28 points. It's, it's alright, it's pretty good, it's pretty good, it's viable. Uh, next we've got shotguns, what I personally use, they're by far like the best, uh, in my opinion. So this is how I get it. Uh, you don't need to ace uh, overkill, because if you're running shotguns you should be running both primary and secondary shotguns. You don't really need the like ace thing, it's, it's a bit, you know, wonky. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like getting they, they, they do this or something. It's like I don't know. I don't know why other people do, but it's definitely not. Yeah, I think this is the best by far. Uh, that's going to be 20 points because we're not acing overkill. And if you actually don't have infamy, it's going to be a little bit more expensive because you're going to have to get close by. I wouldn't recommend getting far away unless you're running like Raven Judge. Even so, I, I'd get close by. So you can sprint here. So it's a little bit more expensive without infamy, but it's still very good. Very, very good. Next, we're going to have the basic, basic tank stuff, which is what I would say this is. These are the basic skill points. I would say you have to have in every single build. These are just really, really, really strong. Uh, some people like to get up to it with, like, transporter. Uh, that's, it's pretty good, pretty good. 
But I much rather resilience ace just because flashbands can be a nuisance and you don't always need the bag throwing. Is he just more consistent? Uh Shokunar, like only one person on the crew needs it, but normally when I play in four stacks, everybody just has it because it's just so strong. I don't know. And Bullseye incredibly OP. Not as OP as Inspire, but still very, very good. Uh, if you want to run, like, Anarchist stuff, I just get those two. Uh, like, Die Hard Ace and then Iron Man Basic, just for the armor. And also, Die Hard Ace will stack on your lightweight Ballistic Vest, which you should be using if you're using Anarchist. Uh, I'm not even sure about Infamy. This should be fine, even with our Infamy. Uh, if you're running... Like actual tank tank, like full on Iron Man armor tank, which isn't very good. I'd Ace Transport instead, just because the ballistic vest doesn't actually increase for Iron Man armor because it's a tactical vest, not ballistic. Uh, how much is that going to be? That's about 28 points or 30 if you're not in for mead. It's a little bit pricey, it's pretty good though. If you're running Anarchist, there's only 20 or 22 if you don't have it for me. But yeah, pretty cheap if you're running Anarchist. Next, we've got Ammo, which just don't bother running, honestly. Because you're going to be getting dock bags because you have to get Inspire anyways. And yeah, if you want to get Ammo, it's going to be at what, 12 for this or 16 for good ones? Or it just, just don't even bother. If, I mean, maybe you could spend 3 for secondary saw. I, I could see that being alright, but normally you just ignore ammo specialist. It's irrelevant. Talking about that, irrelevant, we've got technician, which is by far the most useless skill tree. Just all three of them are kinda kinda bad. I mean Jack of all trades is useful, kind of. It's alright, that's twelve points, you just go up here or go up here. Doesn't matter, it's all the same. You can do that without infamy or anything. Uh, if you want turrets, you literally have to spend all 46 points for decent turrets. It's very expensive, I would not do it. Turrets just aren't great. Uh, if you want basic drill skills, it's... What's that, 7? I mean, and then 10 for good drills. It's alright, it's pretty good. Drill skills can really come in handy. If you want to run C4 for whatever reason, just get one of those. That's 28 points. You're going to have to get Drill Sergeant or Drill Sergeant. Uh, if you want to get that without Infamy. I mean, they're not very good, but they're a lot of fun. You can team kill with them, so that's why I run them. Uh, we've got Oppressor, which is... It's not the best, but if you're going to run like SMGs... Eh, it can help. A lot of the good SMGs don't actually need body expertise, but some things like, I don't know, Cobus 90, if you want to get that to work, you're going to have to get sort of body expertise. Uh, that's the way I like to get it. It's going to be, what's that, 28, and then 30 if you don't have Infamy. Eh, it's alright. Uh... In my opinion, these aren't the best. If you're going to get this ace, you have to get this basic, otherwise it's pretty much useless. But, eh... I don't know. Actually, if you don't have it for me, I'd probably ace that instead. That's 31 yourself. 30 with that. Because that's probably a lot better. You want the stability, not accuracy on SMGs. And LMGs and sort of, or whatever it is. So this we're just going to ignore. I'll, I'll do a separate video for stealth stuff because, yeah, that's a whole other thing. Here we have the most interesting tree in the whole game. Uh, this is how I like to get Sneaky Bastard. That's 20 points. Uh, you could do instead... What could you do? You've got a lot of people do that instead, which is one less skill point, I think. That's 20 instead of 21. Uh, I mean, if you're not running dodge, then, you know, there's no point in getting this. If you're running Anarchist for armor, you know, don't bother. 
Uh, if you want to use non-concealable weapons, you are going to have to ace this. But normally, standard should be fine. If you don't have an ace, if you have basic, you need to have 5 or less concealments. You need 3, 4 or 5 concealment to get maximum 10 dodge. If you ace it, then you can have 15 or below. So all the way from 3 to 15. And you'll still get the 10% dodge. Uh, I mean, it's alright to ace. But, I don't know. I, I much prefer doing this. Uh, Dianeed is kind of a bit wonky. Even if you aren't running dodge, you need the basic, these three movement skills. These need to be on every single build no matter what these are must 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 haves no matter what so it's just four points it's nothing big just so yeah you don't be incredibly slow uh if you want crits low blow six points pretty cheap really 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 strong same as sneaky bastard you want five or less concealment, or if you ace it, then oh, what's that? Fifteen. Uh, unseen strike. It's this one's a little bit difficult because these rely on sciences, and you don't particularly want to run sciences, but it's also like not awful. I don't know. Well, so unseen strike is is a bit of a bad skill. Like it just doesn't sort of work properly. It's buggy and just bad. But if you definitely want it. You would get like something like this. Yeah, definitely do not ace it. Like that's just if you ace this, you're dreaming. I'm sorry, but yeah, you do that or you do uh, like that. I, I'd probably do it like this. this. Is probably better. This is gonna be how many? Is this this is twenty points uh, or something. I don't know. It's just probably just ignore one scene strike. It's a bit wonky. But fugitive. If you're running akimbos, these are like must haves. It's really really cheap if you're running akimbos three, even if you're running like akimbo judges or akimbo shotguns or whatever. Still get this. Even though that won't even proc. Uh if you're running pistols I don't even know what's the good pistol stuff. I would just these I know trigger happy is not worth it. I know that for a fact. It's really expensive for what it does. Uh like if you're just running akimbo pistols with a pistol secondary, I just do this. How expensive is this? This is like thirty four. And with that it's forty six. Yeah, I don't know. Up to you. I I'm I'm not an expert on pistols. I never ever use them. Another must have Swan Song, incredibly OP, must haves a hundred percent. Running one down, a hundred percent you need nine lives, that's four points for nine lives. Thirteen if you want to get Swan Song aced. This is so so important. It's really, really, really important. Uh if you're doing some sort of solo build, you wanna be running this, thirty four, just so you can get yourself up. This is like no bot solo build. Uh, that would be pretty useful if you would got spare points. You can run the sort of reverent package. Just getting that aced if you have even more points. That, I guess. It, this is pretty good. How much is this going to be? This is going to be 21 or something. Eh. This is pretty good. I like it. I run it on one of my builds. Uh, then we got frenzy package. Just like this. I much prefer Bloodthirst to Pumping Iron. There's a lot, a lot of good things you can do with it. There's actually some Dozer Cheese where you could melee a dose of like thousands of damage over and over again. Don't actually kill it and kill it with your whatever gun, your primary. And you still keep all the Bloodthirst stacks because you lose all the stacks on the kill. There's all sorts of different stuff you can do. It's pretty good. Like, you're definitely going to get more damage than you would with Pumping Iron. So, uh, Counter Strike. That's alright, aced, but I'd say Berserk is much, much better. You only, only really ever want Frenzy is if you're running Anarchist type thing. Uh, or you're running some weird Iron Man armor. I don't know. But yeah, 
But I would never get on Anarchist with lightweight ballistic vest. So that's all sort of different packages. They so go back to my normal build, uh, which I do all my death sentence on. My death sentence one down solo stuff. If I even remember that one, what do you can get? That's what it is. Go through some of my different builds. Got. Go to this one. This is pretty much the same thing. Got Inspire Package, Convert Package, Shotgun Package. I had spare points, so I got Transporter, but the normal tank package. Got this package. Because I'm running judges I don't need crits to one shot so I got rid of that that's where I got the points for transporter and then also got akimbo and sell crits and then swan song package what else we got we got this inspire package convert package basic tank don't have shotguns on this got body expertise okay I don't know what this build is it's a bit wonky okay yep normal standard stuff uh, what else we got? We got this, inspire package, graze package, tank. This is actually running unseen strike because so I don't know. I should probably get rid of this build actually. This is a bit weird. Uh, yeah, because you don't actually need any skill points for the micro Uzi to be good. You just run it on its own, so I didn't bother getting these skills. If you're running graze, you should probably get. Some sort of spray SMG like my Uzi or the MP40. Uh, what other builds? These five are for stealth. We got this, which is my anarchist inspire package. This is sort of anarchist package. You know the standard stuff. Got my frenzy. Got high value target here. All poggers. Yep. Don't really need anything. Got my movement stuff. But yeah, that's. How I would definitely learn how to build at least. Just keep on trying to fit as many sort of packages as you can. And then you can't go wrong. You know? Just don't get garbage. Like extra lead. Aced. I don't know why I see that so much in pubs. But yeah. Don't do it. Please. Thank you. Bye.